Theodore Major has a well-earned reputation for eccentricity. At 78, with a string of ailments which would fell a lesser man, he unfailingly rises at four. And because he never sells any of the huge works which he then produces at the rate of one a day, he's had to buy a second house near his hometown of Wigan just to accommodate them. And except in Lancashire, he detests exhibiting. Yet despite all this, he's widely acknowledged as one of the foremost artistic figures in Britain today. All art to me is based on people, humanity. Nothing else. I feel about the Northern women. There's a great life and a great vitality about them. And all these beautiful people I know and I've met, these wonderful women, are in those paintings. If someone had said to me, where would you have liked to be born? by London or the Paris, or I should say, Wigan, a Wooten tongue. Oh, I think that the Northern people, they've been so crushed that they've developed into a powerful people. Uh, to me, they're not like Lowry pictures. I think that's why the Londoners like they like the lowery pictures because they, they look like little beaten down things crawling about. But I don't paint that. And when I paint women, the nudes, the women are beautiful, the children are magnificent. I've never seen more beautiful children and more feeling children and the children in the north of England. I'm proud of the north of England. An artist, he has to look at everything. When I painted a series about the atom bombs, well, it was a dark side. But the, the artist has to paint the truth. <laughs> There's no one more lonely than an artist. When I paint, I have to be completely on my own, away from everyone. When I paint, of course, when I go up those stairs, it's a battle. I never know when I'm going to come down, sane, or whether I'm going to have another stroke and come down dead. No, it's a great fight. And when I'd been painting for about four or five hours, uh, I, I couldn't be stirred. I'd just lie on the couch flat, almost finished. People who've seen me like this, they, they say that I look drained. And I am drained. It's a great honor to be a painter. It's my religion. And in my religion, there's no punishment. There's no eternal fire. It's just good. And if a picture hasn't got this goodness about it, it isn't art. <laughs> 